uh, we keep talking. In fact, we had a mechanic in Aravaca. We asked him one time, you know, what, what kind of vehicle do you recommend? And he smiled at us. His name was Cliff. And he looked at us and he scratched his head and he goes, a tank? <laughs> this truck to maybe jump it we don't know why it's dead um, and we got here the first thing we realized is that uh, our tires not even just blown out it's just totally dry rotted so Liza's working on uh, fixing the tire while we try to jump this other vehicle let's see the inside there oh looking really pretty how long have you been working on no more deaths vehicles? Uh, about 18 months. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 18 months, if you had to take a total guess, how many like different jobs do you think you would have done on on no more desk vehicles. And the last 18 months, I'll say more than likely somewhere close to a 350 to 360 different jobs. Those are really heavy and intense because these trucks take quite a bit of abuse. Because when they were originally purchased new at the time, they were not designed to go certain places these trucks have to go to fulfill the mission they're trying to accomplish. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything like the stuff that comes in from these vehicles? No, I have not ever seen anything, trucks in this bad shape. No, I have not ever. Okay. Vehicles are old, and um, in the past several years, we have focused on getting Dodge Rams in the mid to 90s to the early 2000s, because the parts are interchangeable. Um, but that doesn't mean that they hold up really well, because they've already got a lot of miles on them. The, the, they're good trucks. The real issue is the the beating they take up in the field. If anybody's been out in the desert, and particularly volunteers who come to work for Nomad Deaths, understand immediately how how a vehicle can just get beat up. The um, the places that migrants today go are just very remote and very difficult to get to in many instances. And so these vehicles, these trucks, these forerunners that we use uh, are absolutely essential to get us to those places. And again, what might be called roads in somebody's terminology are often trails. And, um, and again, we have to use our, our common sense about whether in fact we can go to some of these places. Um, but we're way out in, in, the, in pretty remote area. Bouncy, very bouncy video. We might make someone throw up. That's the point. They'll donate if they throw up. El tiempo no pasa en vano. 